He is known for his role as a prominent Byzantine Greek classical scholar, humanist, philosopher, professor, and translator of ancient Greek texts. He is recognized for his influential teachings of Greek literature and history in medieval Italy, specifically in the republics of Florence and Venice. His name is Manuel Chrysolorus. In the annals of intellectual history, one name stands out, Manuel Chrysolorus, a Byzantine Greek scholar who played a vital role in the Renaissance. Born in the Byzantine Empire, Chrysolorus ventured west as the ambassador for Emperor Manuel II Paleologos. It was during his time in medieval Italy that Chrysolorus made a lasting impact as a teacher, philosopher, and translator of ancient Greek texts. Florence and Venice became the epicenters of his influence as he shared his deep knowledge of Greek literature and history with eager students. Chrysolorus' teachings opened up a whole new world for Western Europe, introducing them to the rich treasures of ancient Greek culture. His passion for the classics and his dedication to education laid the foundation for the revival of classical studies in the late Middle Ages. Chrysolorus' significance cannot be overstated. His efforts paved the way for the rediscovery of ancient Greek philosophy, literature, and art. By bridging the gap between the Byzantine Empire and Western Europe, Chrysolorus played a crucial role in the cultural transformation that marked the Renaissance. His legacy as a pioneer in the introduction of ancient Greek literature to the West will forever be remembered. Chrysolorus, a distinguished Greek Orthodox scholar, was born in Constantinople, the capital of the Byzantine Empire. In 1390, he embarked on a mission to the Republic of Venice, representing the Byzantine Emperor Manuel II Paleologos. The purpose was to seek aid from Christian princes in medieval Europe against the invasion of the Ottoman Turks. In Venice, he met Roberto de Rossi and later Jacopo D'Angelo, who traveled to Constantinople to study Greek with Chrysolorus. In 1396, Chrysolorus received an invitation from Coluccio Salutati, the Chancellor of Florence, to teach Greek grammar and literature in Florence. This was a significant opportunity, as Greek had not been studied in northern Italy for centuries. Among his pupils were Leonardo Bruni, Ambrogio Traversari, Guarino de Verona, and many others who would become prominent figures in the Renaissance revival of Greek studies. Chrysolorus also taught in Bologna, Venice, and Rome, but his chosen students formed a close-knit group. Chrysolorus' influence extended beyond his teaching. He translated the works of Homer, Aristotle, and Plato's Republic into Latin. His own writings, including a Greek grammar called Erotimida, gained popularity among his students and later humanists. His sudden death on his way to a church council in Constance led to commemorative essays, with Guarino de Verona compiling a collection in Chrysolorina. Chrysolorus' legacy endured through his teachings and translations. He played a crucial role in reintroducing Greek literature and philosophy to Western Europe, leaving a lasting impact on the Renaissance. His pupils, such as Bruni and Salutati, went on to become influential humanists, contributing to the cultural and intellectual revival of the time. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.